My name is Brian Siddhartha Ingo. I'm the director and founder of the International Institute for Somatic Movement Education. Somatics is a system of slow, mindful movement. It's different from yoga because it's functional movement and the form of the movement is entirely secondary to the quality of the movement. Soma is a Greek word pertaining to the living body and somatics is our experience within our living body. Somatic movement education pertains to the awareness within our body as we move slowly. Everybody benefits from these movements, but if you are sitting in your office every day for long hours, you'll benefit even more because you'll be accumulating tension and stress. But if you're an athlete, if you're an old person or you're a young person, you will get the benefits from these movements. The principles of this work is very important. One must move slowly, with awareness, with comfort and ease, and pay attention to the sensations while you're moving. Whatever muscle you're moving, really try to be aware of the sensations in that area. If you work slowly, with awareness and comfort and ease, you're bound to be successful and release all your stress and tensions and pains. You can find more about somatics at our website, livingsomatics.com. This time I'm going to lead you through a class of office somatics. So find yourself sitting comfortably on the chair, a little bit away from the back of the chair. Feel your sit bones on the chair and just relax here for a moment. And remember, during this lesson, we're going to move very slowly, we're going to move with awareness, and we're going to move with comfort and ease. So let's start with our first movement to release our lower back. From here, we'll inhale and arch the lower back and the head will go upwards. And exhale, flatten the lower back, contract the belly and come forwards. Do this a few times, gently arching, looking up. And exhale, flatten and come forward. And we have to do that from the side. You can see that my back is arching as I look up. And then as I round forward, it rounds over. Just do this gently, do this comfortably. Find ease and comfort and be aware of what you're doing as you do this. When you're aware, you can really get profound changes to release the muscles and joints in your spine. Okay, so come back to center and relax for a moment. And just pause here. And the second movement we'll do, we'll interlace our fingers behind our head. And inhale and arch, tilt your head backwards. And exhale, flatten, round forward. Do this a few times. Arching, looking up, round forward, coming back. And again, from the side, you can see what I'm doing here. As I arch, I press the head backwards with my hands and then round forwards. Continue with this just a couple of more times. Gently and slowly. And finish the one you're on. Come back to neutral. Rest for a moment. Okay, let's do some more movements for our neck and shoulders. We're going to take our right hand on our left shoulder and we'll just shift our weight a little bit over to the right side of the chair. And if you've got an arm, you can, an arm on your chair, you can place your left arm on the chair. From here, bring your elbow up slightly. And if you haven't got an arm on the chair, you can just put your, your hand on the, on the side of the chair, whichever works for you. So from here, we're going to gently inhale and twist our body to the left. And then exhale, we're going to move back to center. And notice how my knees are a little bit to the left here. They're a little bit of an angle. So let's do that again. We're inhaling, twisting. And we're exhaling and we're contracting our abdomen to pull us back to center. So notice how it's coming from my center as I twist here 
and then up to the spine. And the last thing to turn is just a gentle neck movement. Don't force. Work with just 50% of your range of motion. Less is truly more here. It's not about end gaining. It's about sensing into the spine and the neck. Really quality movement. If you can just be aware of a small range of motion, you'll get way more benefits than forcing. So be easy. Release the neck by being aware of the movement. Okay, finish the one you're on, come back to center, and just pause for a moment here and just tune in again. Be aware of the differences between the left and the right side. And now let's do a different movement but the same position. We take our right hand on our left shoulder, our left hand on the arm of the chair or beside us. And from here we're going to come into our gentle twist to the left and then we'll just bring our head and neck back to center. Just a gentle movement here. See how I'm just moving my head and neck? Now be aware of the sensations in the head and neck. What are you feeling as you gently turn your head back and forth? Now, let's work with the eyes moving in one direction and the head moving in the other direction. So if the head moves to the left, the eyes will move to the right. And if the head moves to the right, the eyes will move to the left. So, just see if you can work in this way. Eyes move one way, and the head moves in an opposite direction. And finish the one you're on. Come back to center. Rest for a moment. Pause. And now let's assume the same position. Left hand at the side of the chair, right hand at the shoulder, knees off to the side. And from here we'll turn to the left, bring our head back to the right. And now the head will go one way to the left and the shoulders will go forward. So see how this is. My head's turning to the right, my left shoulder's going back. Now my head's turning to the left, and my left shoulder's coming forward. Head one way, shoulders in the opposite direction. Don't force, don't strain. Gentle and slow. Again, feel into the nuance of the movement. Work with 50% of your range of motion. Tune into your spine, feel any sensations from inside, compare the left to the right. Now from here, take your right hand at the side of the head. And from here, we're going to side bend to the left. So you're side bending to the left and the head's moving to the left. Contract your left waist, press the head into the hand and then very slowly release back to center and just a little bit to the right, not much to the right. Now go to the left again, side bend to the left, press the head into your hand, contract your left waist and then very slowly release, release. One more time. Keep your attention in your left waist and the left side of the neck. You're shortening your left neck and left waist and then you're very slowly releasing out and lengthening your left waist and your left neck. Just do this one more time. And finish the one you're on. Come back to center. 